hello and welcome back so in this installation we want to do some basic housekeeping here the first thing i want to do is to make sure this reads the currently selected user and what i also want to do is to be able to log out a user simply by clicking their username all right so let's get out of this and to log the selected user it should be simple right here right where the password and the username are valid let me do it down here all right what i am going to do here is i am going to get i'll simply say self dot parent right and now we are at the screen dot parent and now we have the screen manager then dot parent and now we have our main window all right and then what I'll do is I'll say IDs, right? And then dot, let me see the ID. For screen operations, we have screen underscore OP, right? So dot screen OP, just like that. And then we want to get the children of that screen OP, right? And you know what, for now, let's just print this out, okay? Make sure we are getting the items we need and i actually don't care if we are logged in or not so i'll just print this out out here all right so i'll control us to save actually let me push it even further up maybe there all right control us to save and now let's run this and i'll just click sign in here Drag this out and we have our till operator all right so everything is looking pretty great now we can take this back and by the way to cycle with this we use alt and the arrow keys okay so i'll take it maybe here and now i no longer need the print statement so i'll remove it and of course remove the last bracket now, if you notice, we only have one child, okay? Children returns a list. So I'll get the first child, which is, in this case, the only child, all right? So now I have that till operator. Now I can say dot IDs because it's a class. And the ID I need, let me go to till operator right here and operator dot pi. And this would be this one right here. It says logged in underscore user, all right? So dot logged in underscore user and this is getting pretty long so I'll cut it about here. Alright. Oops, wrong cut. Right there. Alright. So dot ids dot screen dot let's see logged in user and I'll cut it again right there. Dot text all right and the text is now equal to the u name okay so u name just like that all right control us to save and what i want to do before we even run this is i want to underline this okay so i'll simply say underline is true now control us to save this and actually i think we can do the whole thing here before we run this so on release and on release i want to say root dot logout all right simple as that and of course we need to create our logout function on our till operator here so i'll just create it up here it doesn't matter all right so i'll define logout which is going to take self and upon logout all we want to do is self dot parent dot parent again and dot current is equal to screen underscore si for sign in all right and the moment we do this by the way until operator and sign in dot pi if you run these as standalone apps you have problems because we won't have parent dot parent okay this is the main parent so 
once you do this make sure you never run this as a standalone application okay if you have to then of course you have to comment this out all right so now that that is done let's run this and i'll just maximize and operator is again i'll use that username 365 and the password all right so now it reads sarah365 underlined and if i click this i am taken back to sarah365 underlined all right so now they can log in back i think i should remove this okay because really it doesn't really matter that much we never see it anyway so let's go back to our signing.py here and it's actually right here i'll just comment this out and if you want to also remove the text okay what we can do here is once we get our username and password here actually where is it validate user right here okay what we can do is we can down here say user the text is equal to nothing and pwd dot text is also equal to nothing okay so now when we log out we won't find any text in there so let's test this out sarah 365 operator 01 and i may have made an error there 365 operator 01 all right there we go log out and now we don't get anything but we get this message okay so again to solve that problem we'll have to clear our messages all right so as soon as we log in right here we need to say info dot text is equal to nothing okay so now that should work now the next thing i want to do is on my admin.py this time where is it let me close this real quick all right right here on my admin.py what i want to do right here where we quit all right i went ahead and added this on release is equal to root.close okay so just add this we are going to create this function in a second but i also want to be able to log out instead of closing all the time all right so i'll copy this like this all right paste it here and paste it there all right and this time i want to log out so this is going to be the same function as we have already done log out just like that all right control us to save and that should be it actually i think for quit what we can do is actually just say window oops we can just say window dot close all right hopefully this works now we need to import our window so let's go way up okay at the very top and to import we simply just type in that and import window we want to import it from kiwi.co.window.window. All right, if you don't know what this is saying, it's basically translating to import window from kiwi.co.window. Or better yet, import kiwi.co.window.window as window. All right, so that should be it. Now let's create our log out function. So I'll create it. Maybe I'll create it there. All right, so define logout, which takes self, of course, and this would simply self dot parent dot parent for our screen manager dot current and self dot parent dot parent dot current is now equal to screen underscore si. Control us to save this, and if we can run this now, there we go. And I just realized we might have a problem, but okay, so for now, let's just quit, and there we go. application will leave, 
all right so that is working now let's just admin zero one and admin and file and i can click it log out and there we have it all right so everything's great we are going to stop here for this one any questions leave them in the questions section otherwise thanks for watching thanks for the subscriptions i'll see you in the next one